Well, hello, I am Dr. Abdul Wahab, a resident of maxillofacial surgery and he is my uh, friend and a practicing general dentist. Uh, today we are going to discuss a relatively ignored topic uh, regarding the MR scanning and their uh, compatibility with the dental materials used and the dental appliances that are placed inside the mouth. Yeah. Now uh, we have plenty of materials over here and broadly we are going to classify them into three categories, uh, one which are totally uh, safe, uh, secondly which may cause mild distortion uh, or artifacts in the images and uh, thirdly uh, those materials uh, in which you uh, need to be very conscious while doing an MR scans and may lead to hazardous uh, effects during an MRI. So let's start and uh, see how it goes. We can broadly classify these materials into three uh, categories which are totally safe materials, uh, which are partially safe, which can cause distortion in the image and which are totally contraindicated in the MRI scan. Uh, let's discuss some uh, compatible materials like we have these uh, regular uh, filling materials like uh, this is a polycarboxylate based uh, filling material. Uh, this is uh, safe, uh, this is uh, IRM. This is also another safe material uh, available in the market and uh, this is uh, Drala, uh, phosphate based cement, also safe uh, in uh, the MRI scan. This is very commonly used uh, GIC material, very safe uh, uh, in the MRI scan. And then we have these uh, very uh, important composite materials, the white filling materials we have. Uh, they are also safe, uh, but we do have this uh, uh, red composite which is uh, which has a coloring agent in it uh, this can cause distortion in the image so this is one thing you can uh, remember other than that we have a very commonly used uh, the GP points the gutta percha points these are also safe uh, during an MRI scan. so this is a GP point uh, which is used in the root canal treatment after we are done filing and shaping of the root canal we need to seal it from one end to the other so this is used there and it is very well visualized in a plain extra film. Now apart from all of these uh, dental materials uh, amalgam is the one that can cause uh, considerable distortion in the images and secondly the gold fillings can cause uh, considerable distortion. Now apart from this uh, there are certain uh, metal uh, objects that are used uh, accessories that are used inside the tooth to hold the filling. One of the most commonly used one is these post and core materials. Uh, now uh, if the filling is fine and uh, uh, the, all of it is uh, embedded within the filling then uh, it won't be causing uh, any uh, trouble. But in case of uh, dislodged fillings or even broken down fillings in which this metal is exposed it may cause uh, uh, sufficient uh, distortion of the images. Secondly uh, comes the uh, these implants, uh, these dental implants um, that are used uh, to build the crown over them and uh, these are totally MRI compatible, uh, titanium is not an uh, a contraindication towards the uh, the dental, uh, towards the uh, MRI of the head and neck region and uh, one of the most commonly used uh, a material for preparing the crown are the zirconium ones which are totally white and the second one is the porcelain fused to metal this may cause a uh, distortion of the images even if they are present away from the site of interest of, uh, uh, of the region to be evaluated in an MR scan then comes the uh, uh, those materials which are almost uh, from relative up to the uh, absolute contraindication. Uh, the most commonly used are these uh, brackets, the, uh, the orthodontic uh, materials. Uh, if it is well placed and uh, the, uh, the anatomy of the, of the crowns is normal, it means that there are no chances that it can get dislodged, then these Secondly, are safe. The wires that are used in the orthodontic Mm -hmm. Operators are uh, two types. One are the NITAR wires, uh, the titanium wires, and secondly are the stainless steel wires. The NITAR wires are compatible. The stainless steel wires should be removed before an MR scan to be on the safe side. Uh, and uh, third are the uh, 
What is this? This is a molar bands. Molar bands. Yes. Molar bands. Uh, molar bands are placed on the molars to hold the wires, basically. And uh, <coughs> this, if uh, is also uh, it is very well placed and is not an uh, contraindication to an MRI but uh, if it is loose uh, it should be checked uh, before an MR scan and uh, should be either tightened or should be completely removed before the patient goes on the MR table. Now uh, however uh, none of these are an absolute contraindication for uh, an MRI but they cause considerable distortion of the images even if the area of interest is present away from these. Um, now uh, the force that is uh, um, uh, that is generated by the magnetic field uh, to run an MR scan is almost sufficient enough to lift a car. So these type of appliances are pretty much easy to be dislodged and uh, if they are not correctly placed and cause uh, considerable uh, uh, even mortality and considerable uh, and damage uh, and serious damage to the tissues as well. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comment below, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.